Hello everyone, welcome to MSFT webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to configure Android Enterprise Device Restriction Policy to allow or restrict features on personally owned devices using Intune. Microsoft Intune includes device restriction policies that help administrators control Android devices. These restrictions let us control a wide range of settings and features to protect our organization's resources. For example, administrators can allow or block the device camera and control access to Google Play, App Stores, Gaming and many more. These settings are available in Intune and are configurable by the administrator. Intune uses configuration profiles to create and customize these settings for organization's needs. After we configure these settings in a profile, we can then push or deploy the profile to devices in our organization. To see that, let's sign in to the Microsoft Intune Admin Center as a global administrator or an Intune service administrator. We can access Microsoft Intune Admin Center using the URL as HTTPS endpoint.microsoft.com. On home page, click on Devices. On Dubai Platform, click on Android. Click on Android Devices. In this demo, we have a user named Tease201 who has an Android device that is managed by Intune with Android Enterprise personally owned a work profile. Let me show you that. Okay. We have created one test device group named Taste Android Devices and added this Android device to that group. We will assign device restriction policy to our test group and in the end, check the result on our Android device. Under Android Policies, click on Configuration Profiles. Click on Create Profile. On the Create a Policy page, set Platform to Android Enterprise. Click on drop down arrow to select Profile Type. Under Personally Own Work Profile, select Device Restrictions. Click on Create. On the Basics page, type in the name and description for the profile. After entering the name and description, click on Next. In Configuration Settings, choose the settings you want to configure. We have total four sections. In this demo, we will only configure Work Profile Settings. Click on Work Profile Settings. Copy and paste between Work and Personal Profile setting controls whether or not apps in the work profile are allowed to share data with apps in the personal profile through copy and paste actions. By default, the setting is set to block. Block prevents copy and paste between work and personal apps. If data sharing between work and personal profile settings is set to device default, then sharing from the work profile to the personal profile is blocked. Sharing from the personal profile to the work profile is allowed. Next, we have work profile notifications while device lock setting. This setting controls whether notifications from apps in the work profile are visible on the lock screen. Block prevents Windows notifications including toaster notifications, incoming calls, outgoing calls, system alerts and system errors from showing on lock devices. Let me change this setting to block. Default app permission setting specifies the default permission policy for all apps in the work profile. This policy setting let us decide if users are prompted to grant permissions for all apps in the work profile. We will select prompt. You can set up REST policy settings as per your requirement. To know more about specific setting, 
take your pointer at the end of that setting and this will display more information about that setting. We are more interested in work profile password settings. Work profile password settings apply to the work profile password on personally owned devices with a work profile. Select require option for the first setting to require work profile password on Intune manage personal devices. Choose the length of the time devices must be idle before the screen automatically locked. From the drop down, select 5 to lock the device after 5 minutes of inactivity. Enter the number of wrong passwords allowed before the work profile on the device is wiped. The range is 4 to 11. 0 might disable the device wipe functionality. We'll go with 4. Next, enter the number of days until user passwords must be changed from 1 to 365. We'll go with 30. Prevent reuse of previous password setting to restrict users from creating previously used passwords. Enter the number of previously used password that can't be used. The value will be from 1 to 24. We will enter 5 so users can't set a new password to their current password or any of their previous 4 passwords. We will not configure other settings and keep it to not configured so the user is able to manage these settings on the device himself. If Face ID, Fingerprint, Iris don't work, you will have to use the work profile password to unlock the device. If you have device which is running on Android 12 or later, you can use password complexity setting to set the password complexity requirements. We will select high password complexity. If you set work profile password complexity to high, that means pin with repeating number or ordered sequences are blocked. The length must be at least 8 characters. The alphabetic or alphanumeric length must be at least 6 characters. So I have configured these settings for this demonstration purpose. Now click on password. Remember these password settings apply to the device password on personally owned devices with a work profile. In most cases, this section is left as it is without changing the default settings. And we are going to do the same. Click next. On the assignments page, assign the policy to a group that will receive a profile. Click on add groups. From the list, select test android devices group. Click on select. We have one android device in our test device group. Click on next. On the review plus create page, confirm all our settings and then select create. We can see confirmation pop-up message, profile created successfully. Click on refresh to see the updated list. Now to test the result of this device configuration policy, let's go to our test device. Uh, let me unlock this Android virtual device. As you can see, at this moment, we don't have pin on our device. Let's open Intune Company Portal application. Click on our device name. Currently, the device compliance status is in compliance. Click on check device settings and wait for the pop-up message to appear. This will take few seconds to receive device restriction policy on this device. Once you will have the policy assigned on this device, there will be a message secure your work profile. After waiting for around 15 minutes, the device restriction policy applied on this Android device. Tap on you need to update settings on this device message. On the update device settings screen, we will see a message titled set a more complex password and then we have the resolve button. Tap on resolve. 
as this is Android emulator, I cannot use fingerprint unlock method. So I'm going to tap on continue without pixel imprint. We have two options, pin and password. You can select the option as per your requirement. I'll go with pin. So I'm going to tap on pin. As per our policy, pin must be at least eight character. Tap on next. After re-entering our pin, tap on confirm. Choose show all notification content on lock screen option. Tap on done. Now tap on confirm device settings. This may take few minutes to complete. All set. Let's go back. Uh, let me show you if we have any pop-up here. Okay, here we can see we have one pop-up. Use your credentials to enable your company support to remotely reset your work profile password. Tap here to continue. And to work profile pin, we just set up. So we have successfully enabled our company support to remotely reset our work profile password in case if we forget it. Let me lock the device. Let's unlock the device. As you can see, it is asking us to enter our pin. Let's unlock the device by entering our work profile pin. Before we go back to engine portal, uh, let me click on check device settings. Uh, first of all, I'm going to click on refresh. Now click on our configuration profile name. Click on view report. We can confirm that the device restriction policy has been successfully applied on our Android enterprise managed personally owned device. That's all for this video on how to configure Android Enterprise device restriction policy to allow or restrict features on personally owned devices using Intune. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.